idea of El Sistema in North Carolina was just a dream. It was really just a glimmer um, before TEDx Charlotte. We had a couple of really devoted people in Durham who knew that El Sistema could be brought to the United States and if they could do it in Venezuela, then for sure we could do it here in North Carolina. Since TEDx Charlotte, it has been hugely viral in bringing El Sistema to the whole state. My impression was that I would come to TEDx and maybe get a little bit more support for our program in Durham. And what it turned out to be was a mailstorm of supporters, interest, challenges, questions, um, a desire to adopt their own version of El Sistema in communities across the state. Since the TEDx talk, I was invited to speak in Carnegie Hall to a national audience at the greatest stage in the world for classical music about innovation in orchestras, innovation in social uh, movements and in education. I thought we were gonna have 60 kids, all kindergartners, all playing violin. That went off fine. Now we have had such a demand from the community that in our second year, I was gonna add just 10 more kids. We're moving to 100 kids. So we're moving from 60 to 100. I thought we would continue a second year on violin. The kids and their parents have insisted they want to add violas, cellos, trumpets, flutes, percussion, choir. So we're adding all of these instruments, all of these new kids and families. We are unique in, in Kids Notes in our partnership with the public schools. We're really committed to hiring the in-school public school teacher to be our partner. Um, in North Carolina, we face urban poverty, rural poverty. There's an issue, um, of, you know, the Latino community deals with different issues than the African American community, and it is cultural and familial and in your neighborhood, and it, and it is really unique to where you are. Um, so different, different organizations have approached us about how we've done it in Durham and then they look to their own local needs and local issues about what they need to adopt in El Sistema. What are the pieces of empowerment or peer mentoring or um, early childhood education? You know, what do they want to take on as their piece of El Sistema? So what's amazing about El Sistema is it is an international movement. So my program in Durham has constant contact with the programs in New York, Boston, Philadelphia, Los Angeles, Atlanta. Uh, we share the El Sistema philosophy, the idea that music and the orchestra can change people's lives for the better and that it is, it is a program of empowerment. Um, so our connections are finding out best practices. Also, it's competitive. We want to see where our kids are. What age did you start? What are they playing now? How do they do it? Um, how many days do you teach? How many kids do you have? And I think having that competitive energy is really positive because it's all about pushing the kids as far as they can possibly go and setting challenges you know, that would otherwise not be met or, or wouldn't be expected of, of me, of our organization, or of the kids. El Sistema is just one piece of what's going on in, in changes in the arts and what artists and musicians feel like they can do and what is their responsibility to give back to the community. I really, I really feel like El Sistema is taking solid root in the U.S. and that North Carolina has been an excellent fertile ground for those partnerships to form. I think something that's unique about our state is the level of partner, the way that we act together and the level of partnerships that we have when we want to do things. I, I would never imagine going into a community and not immediately looking up Duke University, Durham Public Schools, Durham Social Services, Durham Parks and Rec. Um, that's the way that we do things in Durham, and I've, I've found that mirrored across North Carolina, that it's a, it's a, it takes a village approach. It was a huge pleasure and privilege to be part of TEDx Charlotte and to be part of an incubator of ideas for improving North Carolina, our kids, our lives, and our culture. You can go to our website at www.kidsnotes.org or our Facebook page, Kids Notes Durham, North Carolina, and we're on Twitter, kids underscore notes. Also the El Sistema USA page has Kids Notes featured on the US map.